By now, a lot of you guys are probably very familiar, very familiar, with the streets map in Skater XL. It's one of the community maps that's available on PC as well as console, and it just got a whole lot better. What's going on? Welcome to the video. This is the third video I filmed today, so ignore the fact. Oh no, I did change my shirt. I didn't in the last video. Okay. Well, if you guys have watched the past two videos, you know what I'm gonna say. Uh, the, the audio glitch that's been happening with my recording software. This is the last video I filmed on that devastating day with no audio. So hopefully the next video should have game audio. I'm gonna reinstall everything and hope that fixes it. But in the meantime, enjoy the video. As much as I want to go on a rant about how we haven't got updates for console yet, blah blah blah, I know, just, I, I won't go on the rant, I'm just gonna say that I know nothing about if or when console players are going to get updates. I thought for sure there would have been at least one major update by now with new maps and whatnot, but there hasn't been. I'm going to assume that if you are a console player, you have spent many and many and many hours on this map because it's one of a small selection of maps that you guys actually have. And I'm sorry that this video is probably going to make you jealous. Top comment. I forgot the top comment yesterday's video or last video I filmed. Relentless Skate says play skaters versus Karens in the back round. <laughs> back round. Okay. Skaters versus Karens. That's so funny to me. Before Skater XL 1.0, when it was just a, a Steam beta game on PC only, there was a couple community maps and Streets was one of them. I can't skate. Oh, you can see my, my receding hairline underneath my afro. This was a third party community map made by Jean Olive, I believe. I, know, I think it's French, I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. With the release of Skater XL 1.0 for console, I guess Easy Day reached out to a couple map creators. That's where Hoodland came from. It's where this map came from, I believe. One more, you know, Skater XL reached out to these third party creators and ended up really incorporating them into the game, which I sort of thought was gonna continue and we'd get more and more maps on console. But alas, what do I know? Jean Olive strikes again with yet another amazing map. It's called Streets 2. It is about how it sounds. Let me get a big heel over this. Okay. <laughs> uh, I broke my back. We head on over to maps, and no, this map is not available on console. Why? Couldn't tell you in a million years why they haven't updated it yet. We go down QRS. Streets 2, baby. It really, it's exactly what it looks and sounds like. It's just like Streets 1, but updated different obstacles. A brief fly around kind of shows that it is similar vibes, similar map size and everything, but there's a lot of new, it's all new stuff. I don't even know where to start. I mean, I guess the point of these videos is just to give you a little, a little tour, make your console players jealous. Lots of ledges. I like the texture a lot and the shiny. I'm like a raccoon. I see something shiny. I'm like, Ooh, shiny. I like it. As you guys are probably well aware from Streets 1, Jean Olive knows what he's doing. He knows how to make a, a really good map and Streets 2 is no exception. You know, some maps are going for crazy detail. Some maps are going for crazy realism. Some maps are just absolutely absurd, like the Minecraft map where it's just trying to be fun. Streets 1 and 2 do a really good job of kind of encompassing all of that. How, how did I fall? I thought I landed that fine. It's nothing crazy. It's not like the Berlin map where it's an absurd amount of detail or there's a bunch of obstacles or it's huge or anything like that. It's just a very well-rounded, realistic streets map. I didn't, didn't really need to explain that. I really like the little holes. He made a, an obstacle like this in Streets 1, too. I feel like all of Jean Olive's maps are really good for edits. Like, realistic Skater XL edits, they do a perfect job of that because it looks like you're just skating around a real city. I don't know if these are modeled after anything real or not, but it looks like it. I have been playing this map a lot on stream, but I haven't really gone into the nooks and crannies and tried to find all the hidden spots like this. Never skated. Oh! A curve. Oh no, I re yeah, this was a. Uh, I reviewed this in the Skater XL submit, but I haven't skated this myself. Started off front board. That's probably what the only trick I would do on that in real life. Maybe a 50 50, but that has very severe tacoing potential. And then we'll just we'll hammer off the basics here. Front lip. That was disgusting. That was, that was even more disgusting. Come on. I'm stuck. Whoa. Whoa. I'm doing every single trick except what I'm trying. And go! <laughs> Sick. There it is. It has to stick. It, it just it just can't let me have it, huh? I can try bumping out of it. Nope, there we go with the front tail 270. Again. And a terrible nolly tray flip. This was not supposed to be a trick that I get hung up on. Fuck it, we're going straight to the tray flip lip. Why? Why was that easier 
than a regular lip slide. That makes no sense. Wall rail, it's a really tall obstacle. Oh, I thought that was gonna be first try. Front Smith, kick flop. Bada boom. I just feel like doing tail slide today, apparently. That's my trick. There it is. Let's keep the line going. You guys know how great I am at doing lines. Oh, a pole jam? <laughs> it just penetrated my anal. I like this area. I think there's a lot of potential for lines here. A little three up, three down type obstacle right here. Almost hit a pole. And then finish it off with... Uh, that's the line though. Front 180. Switch front big spin. Tray flop. Boom. 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 And kickflip front lip. Redemption on that trick. I really have to thread the needle through the, the pole at the last one. Okay, decent tray flip. Let's just do lip slide. That's a little bit more realistic. Why? Why? And kickflip front board. There it is. There it is. We're taking it. I feel like that's a, a pretty realistic line. Nothing crazy. I, with the front big spin, I tried. I've been trying to work on my big spins. Instead of just doing it, I'll do more of a switch front shove 270 and then use the sticks to pivot the last 90 degrees like that. I feel like it looks a little bit more realistic. And then the vertical tray flips, I've been working on too. I think they look better. You can see it starts to flip up as opposed to, to the side and then finish it off with just a little kick flip front board through the pole. Beautiful. I like that line a lot. Staying true to Streets 1. You guys remember the uh, one of my favorite spots in Streets 1 actually was that little thing that ends in the drainage ditch type thing just like that i wonder if we can do a line here actually all right crook nollie flip that actually looked really good i do too many tray flips i need more variety that was cool though let's switch up everything no more crooks let's do back smith kick flip that was kind of cool and then just a nollie heel and then a big heel in oh oh that was sick i really like the gaps into bank type spot oh like like this can i go up this I thought this was a wall but you can actually kind of wall ride that okay hold on i'm not sure if this is gonna work that was way too high but i think it'll work yes that was supposed to be a tray flip and that was supposed to go in ah <laughs> oh There it is. There it is. Keep it going onto the ledges, stairs, whatever they're called. Turn it. Ah, no. This is actually fun. I haven't been really entertained by a map in a long time. And this is, I'm having it. Old kinky. Can't go wrong with them. I see a lot of these pole jam looking things. I just don't know if they're actually jammable. Maybe not. If I ollie up. That wasn't a pole jam though. Manual? Okay, that was fucking sick. Oh, look at that. The, the radical manual. That's a whole, that's a pelvic thrust manual if I've ever seen one. Look at the trucks jiggling up on there. That is a sight to be seen. Yeah, I'm thinking this pole jam might not be doable. At least with my stats menu settings. I might have to change them a little bit. Give it one more try. Uh, let me see that. It's not giving me the grind sound I want. Oh, that was actually, that was actually it for sure. It just didn't give me the grind sound I wanted, but that looked perfect. What other key factor? Oh, I haven't even gone in here yet. This is just like a little flat ground basketball court type area. I feel like every basketball court just has perfect ledges. Perfect ledges. You guys know how I always do this trick? Nolly flip crook, like that's just my go-to in this game. I finally learned them in real life. Now don't judge me. It was my first time ever landing one ever in my entire life, but I, I did one in real life. All thanks to Skater XL. <laughs> Next up is this one though. Nolly flip crook. Oh, it's not working. Nolly flip crook, nolly big flip. That was not a nolly big flip. They don't want to see us winning out here. I can't get the big flip out. What? 
Uh, of course I do it when it wasn't a crook. I do the no slide one. Whatever. Let's keep looking around. A lot of hidden gems like this one, the gap to monkey bars. Always cool. Same thing with the slide. You can kind of skate it, see how much fun I'm having. There's a lot here. There's, there's a lot for being a small map and you can keep yourself occupied here for hours. More fountain ledges. This pool is really cool. Ooh, I didn't even see this. This is a hidden little gem. There we go. Drop into the pool, bro, and hit a sick McTwist! Hell yeah! Wow! That was cool. That was actually so sick. Jean Olive, I'm looking forward to Streets 3, if it ever comes out. <laughs> I know you just made Streets 2. But uh, thank you again for, for being you, making some amazing maps. Oh, bring this back in. Oh, that was kind of cool. All jokes aside, hopefully Easy Day will hit you up and ask you to do this for, for a console or... I don't know, just give us some update. Wait, wait, wait. I have to try this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but... Okay. <laughs> the worst possible attempt. I know you see what I see. Yes. Yes. Yes, it worked. And then the fire hydrant... Alright, if I land this, you guys gotta thumbs up the video. No if ands, or buts about it. Come on, baby. Make it to the last one. Oh, thank you guys for watching. I'm getting better at my intros. If this is a solid intro, the last intro was solid. Outros are still a train wreck. Thank you guys. Uh, thumbs up the video. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to be notified when I upload videos. That's what it's supposed to do anyway. I'll see you guys live. I have the link in the description to my Facebook gaming page. In the videos, go live every single day, playing a variety of games. So I look forward to uh, seeing you guys there next time I'm live. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Boom. Outro. Let's go, baby. Peace out. Can't stop till I got a quarter million.